so potentially we might get thrown out of Westfield. <laughs> Ridiculous. Oi, you. You there. Subscribe to this channel. Really? Look at that! everybody, how are we all? I hope you're all doing really well. Welcome back to my channel and to another vlog that I haven't decided the title of yet, but I'm gonna guess it's something relating to homeware, fashion, thrifting, probably some food, because I'm a little bit hungry already. And also, I've got a bit of help this time. Look who I've got. Hello, <laughs> got my tea. Got your tea. It's the one and only Mr. Carrington. For those of you who've been watching for a while, you may remember that we did something very similar to this around about a year ago, didn't we? It was, and we sat in this very spot. Very spot. We're in Bill's, for those of you who are wondering. This is um, a lovely restaurant. And we're having a little pot of breakfast tea. And um, yeah, we're going to try and hatch a plan of some kind of shopping. Basically, I have a suit to pick up from about two and a half weeks ago. I'll link that vlog down below. Um, I'm very excited. What's it like? It's tweed. Ooh, it's very nice. Right? Yeah, yeah, Not yeah, particularly excellent. seasonally appropriate now, but um, yeah, excited for that. Cool. And then, um, yeah, I think we're just going to have a little wander around, do some homeware shopping. I don't really need anything, likewise. No, you. no trying to be good. Yeah, you and just recently redid your kitchen, haven't you? Yes, have, yeah. Do you need anything for that? No. Damn. I mean, if I see something, mm. we'll keep our eyes peeled. Yeah. yeah. I think this is going to be a montage, guys. We haven't really got any like, destination in mind, but there's been a lot of requests for like Zara, Flying Tiger. Yeah. Um, we recently did Primark, you can see that as well, I'll link that down below. But um, yeah, just gonna have a little pot of tea, have a little catch up, and then have a wander. I'm excited for the charity shops because it's a new area that we've... You used to work in Chuck's Yes, I did, yeah. You and That's you used to work in this part of yeah. London, um, and he said that there are some good ones, so fingers crossed, we'll get some bargains. Thrifting? Yeah, I love that. Um, but yeah, as always, if you are new here, hi, hello, this is you, and then check out his channel as well, he's vlogging the whole day too. Um, probably more cohesive and coherent and better than mine, so just link it down below. Um, yes, do subscribe while you're over there as well, he's brilliant. Um, without that, yeah, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna crack on with my tea, guys. Oh my god. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> this is how today is gonna go. I had too much coffee. Right, I'll catch you when we're inside. <laughs> Life is a winding road No telling where it goes Guys, we're being rebellious. Basically, you and Ewan's vlog, you had security telling them that you can't film inside unless you've got a press pass. So, of course, we're naturally following that rule. <laughs> we aren't. Nobody know it. <laughs> we're being very, um, very cheeky. So, potentially, we might get thrown out of Westfield. If that does happen, I'm sorry. The vlog will be cut short. But, um, yeah, Westfield has said before. Oh, sorry. Oh, Zara home. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, Westfield apparently is Europe's largest indoor shopping centre, this one in London, so apparently so, yeah, so yeah, apparently, so we're in the Europe's largest shopping centre, and it's very nice, this is the bougie part, let me quickly show you, this is what a lot of people have been asking me and Ewan to do, obviously our wallets and budgets don't really flex to Louis Vuitton and Chanel and stuff, but it's very beautiful, we might have a little wander and do some window shopping, <laughs> yeah. but this is lovely. You have to be your biggest fan. And when things are really tough and they're really rough and nothing's working, but there's something inside of you that says, I just have to follow that. Because you don't know who you're gonna be, who you're gonna be, who you're gonna be. So it wouldn't be a trip to Westfield without a little look into H&M Home. It's our favorite spot. Let's do it. Um, right, let's go in. We've got some really lovely lightning here. They didn't have this in last time. Very like different pieces. This is quite nice as well. It's like bamboo lamp. Quite like this too. Very nice. I am a sucker for anything gold. I really do enjoy that. I was just saying to you, and this like rattan style is so, so popular. This is like a little cabinet. I think it like opens up or something. Um, oh yeah, that's how it opens. That is so nice. It's quite expensive though, it's 139. I'm saying to you, and these pieces used to be really popular in like the 70s, so I think charity shops will definitely have something similar. I am like a fiend when I come into H&M Home. All I do is smell the candles. Mm, it's good. It's wild mint. Very nice. 
And then this one is amber. Anything like remotely like this kind of scent I love. Mm. Well, that's good. $3.99, that's not bad at all. She's £3.99 and you get the wood lid as well. I think that's brilliant. That's such good value. Lovely that. I like these planters too. These are really nice. I think that's actually a real plant too. Same to you and last time I was in store I wanted to get like a little vase or something and put some pampas grass in for our hallway. And this is quite nice. This is £20 so it's a little bit expensive but they didn't have pampas grass last time and we've just looked in the floristry and now they do. So we're going to have a look in and see what they've got. These little bunches are quite nice as well. 4.90, it's not bad. We've got some cheese plants too. These grow to be huge. The one in our living room is literally ginormous. Because you don't know who you're gonna meet. Who you're gonna meet. Keep on seeing these planters when I'm out and about and they're really, really nice. This is 20 pounds. Just love them. I need to find a plant for our one in our kitchen because we've got one literally identical to this. Just had a fern in it. And I really like these as well, these like black and white prints. Lovely. So we found the pampas grass and it is £4.90 per stem. So I'm very tempted to just get like two pieces and pop it in our hallway. I might grab it on the way out though because I think this will just start shedding all over and the staff will hear me. Just seeing this next to the roses, they've got a little Valentine's Day station where you can like stamp your own tags. They've got like, you make me happy, I love you. These are so nice. You can literally just pop them on. That's a lovely touch. I do love a stamp, you know. Yeah. Really do. And not bad as well, 2 90 a stem. I do massively rate H&M for their rugs. I've got a couple in our house that are from H&M. It's the same to you and if I didn't actually have carpet, because our carpet's kind of like a mix between this, but I love this like really nice textured feel, but they're um, yeah, they're 200 pounds. I know rugs can be really expensive and this is like a good quality one, but it's like a nice like, raffia style or something. It's lovely. They've got some nice white ones as well. It's like the nice Aztec pattern. But yeah, I've got a really good selection in here. Always said it would be my dream to have a bathroom set up like this. I just love like the old sinks. They're so nice. Like, look at the size of that. I would just have this cupboard. And this bathtub just screams, I want to get in it, honestly. I was just saying to you and as well, I definitely want to get one of these rubber plants. I said it last time and I'm going to do it. I just need to find one that's not like ridiculously expensive. They're quite difficult to maintain apparently, but I just think they look really nice. So we're going to have a little look in here. I was just saying to you and um, I haven't been in Tiger in ages. And they've got the Valentine stuff in, so let's have a go. See what we're going to see what we're gonna come out with. I always say this about Tiger, it can sometimes be a little bit hit and miss. Sometimes yeah. I come in and I'm, there's 101 things, things I want. Things don't always last long in No, 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 no. But they sometimes yeah. have like one-offs that are just brilliant. Like, this is quite cool what you and so spotted. Little like shelving unit. Let's have a look in. One thing's for sure, they've got chocolates and treats are plenty. <laughs> these are quite nice, these little love art mugs, they're lovely. They'd be quite cool to do like a cake and a mug if you've got like a microwave. I used to love doing those at uni. Got the love heart money boxes. That is oddly satisfying and also makes me feel a little bit queasy at the same time. Pancake day is approaching guys, Shrove Tuesday if you celebrate that. I don't know whether that's just a UK thing, but that's not bad. A little pancake pan, how much is that? Oh, six pounds, that's not bad. I certainly paid a lot more for mine. It looks good quality as well, it's non-stick. I've got little mini baking kits as well, like a rolling pin and cookie cutters. This is cool, a little wooden stapler. It's quite nice, that's the vibe you're going for. Little desk tidies as well, little wooden. They're actually really handy. Guys, I've spotted something that I actually do not need, but 100% I'm gonna leave with. It's a llama notepad. That is absolutely brilliant. <gasps> or is it an alpaca? Decide in the comments, is that a llama or an alpaca? Let me show you. In. How much do I need this? Is it an alpaca? It's an alpaca, llama. it's a llama notepad. Yeah, that is you. Thanks. <laughs> Probably spaced, and you was like, they have pink ones too. Look at them. They'd be really nice if you want to have like matching notepad. Oh, they feel amazing too. I'd probably just stroke it rather than actually write in it. That sounds weird. I probably should stop being really weird. These are really handy, little magnetic notepads. If you pop them on your fridge, then you can just write on them and wipe them off. It's really good and obviously they're reusable, so you save them on paper. I think that's a brilliant idea. Guys, the alpaca theme is continuing. <gasps> I just love them. Should give them a name. Hey. Look at that! 
I don't know why I'm just strangely obsessed with them. I just think they're so funny. <laughs> Next time we film a video, I'm going to use this. Oh, yeah. Lights, camera, action. What are you saying? Use another section. Thumbnail. <laughs> Bloody thumbnail. Yeah, I always forget that. It's, it's, it's the thing. Tiger is one of those places that you come and it's just full of stuff that you don't need that you want to buy. Like, you can play darts while on the loo. Genius. Totally unnecessary, but genius. Play the keyboard while you're having a wee. These are quite nice. They've got some little artificial plants in here. They'd be nice if you were like struggling for space or light in a room, like a little bathroom. They're cool. Little ones for like if you do a fake terrarium. So when I was at home, I was never allowed one of these because my mum said it encourages bad habits to eat in bed. But now I am a fully fledged adult. The temptation to get this is a royal, I can do what I want now, mum, is unbelievable. It has legs. Oh, so tempting. Oh, we've, we've gone two completely separate vibes here. Christine Greer, is that you? <laughs> <laughs> We actually lost the plot. I think we actually have. Take it off. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's a dumb and dumb. Guys, I'm really sorry if you've came here for like actual useful tiger content, but good lord. Look at them! I don't even know what that is. It looks like an angry pug, yeah. Yeah. Oh my Christ, yes, what are you? It says one! Oh my dears, right, I need them. I'm actually gonna get kicked out of the store. This is ridiculous. Oi, you! You there! Subscribe to this channel. Naughty. Naughty hands. <laughs> right, let's get out, we're going to do Lally. So I've just popped into Moss Bros and got my suit, which I um, had the appointment about two and a half weeks ago. If you like to so say, if you missed that vlog, I'll link it down below. I've got it here, they've popped it in a little uh, suit bag. It's the tail and me, um, actually got Ted Baker on the back. It's not Ted Baker, I promise. I'm very excited. Actually, if we have time, because um, I've got a spin class this evening, I'll try it on at home for you guys so you can see what it's like. So I didn't want to try it in store because obviously it was dragging you and along. But um, yeah, I'm so happy with this, literally. It's my first ever tailored suit. I don't know who I think I am. <laughs> so we've stopped off for a cheeky little pit stop, as I just said, we've come to Pret. I've had a couple of people message as well about like what it's been like eating out vegetarian slash vegan. We are very lucky because obviously we live in London. There's a lot of choice. There's a hell of a lot of choice actually. So I've gone for a very nice um, Mediterranean salad. It's slightly overpriced for what it is, but it's tasty nonetheless. Ewan's gone for a sandwich and we've gone for some diet cork. And also, have a <laughs> um, Yeah, we're going to hit up a couple more stores, eat some lunch, and then <laughs> yeah, we're going to check out some charity shops. And hopefully get some bargains. I'm in the mood to find a little bargain for you. Mm -hmm. Yeah? All like this stuff. So we're gonna um, have a little refuel, eat some food, and then catch you guys in a bit. Right, we're gonna have a little pop into Zara, into the clothes section, and then Zara home, which is just down there. So let's head on in. I like these trousers. These are really nice. Like a carrot fit in like a brown color. They're very nice. Comfy fit, easy care. And this white roll neck's really nice too, with like a zip through. And this is the matching suit jacket to go with it as well. 80 pounds, not really expensive. I like how they've styled that as well. So I've just found this oversized trench coat that I absolutely love. It's quite expensive. It's 120 pounds, which I know is a lot, but it's very nice. I mean, I don't need any more overcoats, but I love how big and oversized it is. It's really nice. It's quite a nice suede overshirt as well. It's 45, I think it's real suede. It's really nice, love the grey colour. I really like this jacket too, with like the matching trousers. It's really nice. I'm all for a cord, I love that. Very nice, how much is that? The jacket's 39 and I think the trousers are 30. So I've just spotted this in like the wallet section. And I have actually had a Zara wallet before and they, hand, like they end up really good quality. But this is really handy for being in an airport. So let me open it up and show you what's inside. So it's like got a zip in here, which would be really good for like the foreign coins and stuff. And you've got the card inserts. And then this side as well. Thinking like you can slot your passport in. I love that. And I like that it's like hardware and as well. I think that'll stand the test of time. 20 pounds. I think I'm gonna get it. So I've got a bit of luggage in as well. Look at that. Got the fly going on. Very oh awesome. gosh. <laughs> How much are they? 95. That's not bad, you know. They, look luxurious, they do. I like this one with the matching. Very nice, that you know. Some very nice Alexander McQueen dupes here. These are the ones I've got on. But the Zara version, really nice. We're having a cheeky look in the sale just to see if there's anything that's taken our fancy. It's quite a nice sweater, I like that. These boots are really nice too. I love them. 
They got a nice chunky sole on them. Very nice. I'm definitely getting in my boots this season for sure. The fragrances are really nice in Zara as well, and they're like actually very affordable. And I mean, they don't last forever, but they're really nice. This one's actually lovely. It's called Lisboa. Definitely worth checking out. Maybe it's like an everyday fragrance, just if you wear it in like an office or to school or college. So nice. <laughs> So we've just had a quick look in Zara home just to see if they've got anything and they've got the new spring summer 20 in. It's all again very like neutrals, like rattan, like raffia, browns and olives. Yoon just said this would be really nice to put the pampas grass in. I love these planters too, they're huge. Literally ginormous, they're 80 pounds. Really nice if you're going to do like a big palm in there, like a terranium. I like these little side tables down here as well with gold legs, they're lovely. Ewan just pointed out the sale and I've just found this bread bin for $5.99. We don't need one, but I think that'd be really nice to have as like a little veg box or something. Oh, that is very tempting. Oh, oh really? I do like these side tables to see and they're nice that they come out as well. You can use them as trays. Yeah. That's handy. <laughs> Dinner is <Fine>. served. <laughs> yeah, cool. Yeah, it's very like Moroccan vibes in here, which is nice. So we're all done in Westfield. I feel like we've been really good. Minus the suit that I picked up and the thing in Zara, that's it. Now we're going to be heading to the charity shops. Apparently there's three on a road called Oxbridge Lane. So there's a trade, um, a farrah and a mind. So we're going to go and have a look. So the first charity shop we're going to pop into is mine. So let's go in. <laughs> Seeing pinstripe suits just reminds me of our first ever video we did together. Do you remember? Did, yeah? yeah, pinstripe suit. I was I so did. tempted to get that. just spotted this pink shirt and I actually went to an event with these guys and their evening dinner attire actually retails for like 120 odd pounds, 200 pounds and it's got the nice gold and black detail and, and this is literally 16.99. How amazing is that? For like formal shirts they've got like Charles Turret as well, M&S, they've got Sandro Paris. Ooh, this is nice. Oh I like this. Sandro's really pricey too. Trade is so good for brands like a little bit of cost in here as well. How good is that? I really like that as well. Belfield. It's nice as well that it's all colour coded as well. So if you've got a specific colour in mind, you can just come in. Oh, hello. Been a vintage Ralph going on. Got a bit of Hawks and Curtis as well. TM Lewin. Seriously, shirts are fab. I like this a lot. You and do you have something similar to this in like a striped? We've got a yes, yellow Ralph, yeah, haven't we? Yeah. yeah. How nice is that? So nice Got some really nice dinner jackets and things as well. Which looks awesome. Zara Man overcoat for forty pounds. Very nice. Don't know what brand this is. That is very nice. Like an oversized, double-breasted. Like the arm sections as well. Very nice. It's missing a button. That's 18.
these Nike um, running leggings. They've got some like sportswear here, like gym kit and things like that. And they are 9.99. I'm gonna get them, I think, just for like when I do running and stuff. Just spotted this Nike hoodie as well. It's like a zip through for 13.99. It's so good. Didn't expect to get any gym kit and I've been in the market to get some new ones as well. I'm very happy with them. And I've got all my goodies. I'm so annoyed that I forgot to bring like a little tote bag, so I had to get a plastic one, which is a bit annoying, but two pieces of really nice Nike gym kit or Nike for 23.99. It's brilliant. I mean, it's not the cheapest, but in terms of the quality, it feels amazing. Super happy with that. So, I'm going to end this vlog here. We are well and truly shopped out. We're ready to, go. <laughs> ready to get back on the tube. I really hope you've enjoyed this little come shop with me slash come thrift with me. I've got some absolute steals, which I'm so happy about. If you want to check out Ewan's video as well and see what he's been getting up to behind the scenes, head over to his channel. I'll link it down below. And do subscribe while you're over there as well. Thank you so much for watching. And as Ewan has just said as well, leave a comment down below where you want to see us go to next. Because we do love filming these videos and they are very, very fun. So, yeah, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to hit subscribe. Subscribe, don't forget to give the video a thumbs up and I'll catch you very soon. Bye for now. Bye. Bye.